Okay, team, I want to take a moment and I want to look at an oral reading fluency rubric where we sort of, this is a student named Jaden. And I just want you to take a moment and, and read what this fluency prompt says. And then we're going to talk about it and point out what it's saying about Jaden's fluency. I will point out that Jaden here is in third grade and that this, this is part of an assessment that happened in the beginning of the year. So it's part of an informal assessment where the teacher in the beginning of the year is gathering information to guide instruction to help Jaden on his fluency. So take a moment, take a, take a minute here, one minute, and I want you to glance at what it's saying about Jaden's fluency, and then we'll discuss it, okay? One minute on your own with Jaden. Go ahead. Okay, unpause me. So in this assessment on Jaden, in looking, it's looking at Jaden's oral reading fluency. And uh, it's going to be looking at words correct per minute. Okay. And, and it's going to look at his accuracy score. And we have this, these scores here. Okay. Now this is just, th this is looking at his overall fluency. And there are several components to it. Says It says here that it, there's uh, several dimensions to this, this analyzing fluency. That's really important. This isn't just one assessment. So fluency is not the student's accuracy rate. That's not it. Accuracy just makes up one component of several things involving fluency. Now, now right now we can, in looking at this, we see a couple of things. We see, uh, let's see, speed, accuracy, expression, or prosody. Let's th think about speed or, or reading rate here. Um, look at the reading rate of Jaden here. There's speed or, or let's say uh, their rate. They're reading at uh, 75 words per minute. And we look to see what the grade level rate is, 83 words per minute. So in, in grading uh, Jaden's fluency, and we just look at the reading rate, he's a little bit behind here. Is that right? In reading rates, the reading rate, something is holding back speed. There's something holding back uh, Jaden's overall speed. Now let's look at accuracy. Remember the levels, 95 is fluent, 90 is more instructional, uh, less than 90, anything less than 90 is frustrational. What does Jaden get? He, he gets, I'll do less than 90. He gets 80, 89%. Now, what does that mean? Well, there's a couple things. Technically, it means that the text that Jaden was reading was at a frustrational level. And so you'd want to point that out if you were, if you were talking about Jaden's fluency. You'd want to point out based on the accuracy rate, of 89% accuracy that the text is at a frustrational level and it's not going to be a good text for, for developing um, Jaden's independent fluency, right? His oral reading, uh, if, you, if your goal is to build fluency. But let's also think about 89%. Sometimes this also gets lost too. Um, a student at, eight, if you are at 89%, right? 89% is like a couple of what? is this close from 90%, right? I mean, this student is almost, I mean, this they're struggling, but you know, it is not like they're getting 70% or 50%. They've got 89%. They're 1% away from uh, instructional, right? And they're only a few percentage points away from 95. So what this means, whenever you see something like 89% accuracy, what this means, listen closely, is that Jaden is doing some good things. Jaden has got some strengths. Some he is doing some word identification strategies. Let me write down word ID strategies that are helping identify words. Um, that are helping with his overall fluency in terms of getting you know reading words with the proper speed, accuracy, and expression. He's doing some good things, and it also means that there are still there are some gaps. There's still some gaps. Um, or we could say areas of need, uh, areas of need that are holding back his fluency. So I'm sure you would agree, if you got an 89, 89 on a test, you had to do something good, right? That's like a B plus. <laughs> you did something good. You could get better, but it's not like you didn't do anything. There's not like there's no positives. There's lots of positives. There's lots of things that Jaden's doing to get things right. And there's some things that he could do better right? 
So we're going to be mindful of that score and, and what that means in terms of accuracy, okay? All right, so, okay, so he's still at a frustrational level. Yes? So speed's down, accuracy is down, expression. How's expression? Well, it's at a four. Do you see that? And you see with prosody, uh, phrasing is good. That's good. Smoothness is a three. So anything that's a three or a two, this is a little uh, choppy. It's a little choppy how this is. So he's reading with lots of breaks. So we see the choppiness. We see that accuracy is down. We see the speed is, is, is in fact affecting speed. So Jaden's going to be a student where there's, there's a lot of mistakes and he's not self-correcting every mistake. And this is holding back his fluency. So when we look at an open response where we analyze Jaden's fluency, we shouldn't be surprised. We should see, we should see a combination of strengths, things they're doing right to identify words, and there should be several things that are holding him back. So when we look at Jaden's oral fluency, if we do that in this class, we will notice the student that is doing some things right, and there's some things that are holding back his overall fluency. Team, this is how I would analyze something like this um, if we were if we were looking at Jaden and a student like Jaden. Now, now let's think about Jaden here. This was an assessment for a third grader done in the beginning of the year. Let's look at an assessment for another third grader. 